What's up, guys? Welcome to my channel, Ashley Gillard Tarot. Um, if you're new to this channel, I do tarot readings. I'm a intuitive, um, I guess you would call psychic intuitive medium, um, clairvoyant empath, and I have the ability to attune to certain messages. I also have messages and dreams leading me to more life, more life, and to others as well, leading others to more life as well. So today's reading is about Nicki Minaj. She announced her retirement. And I just wanted to do a little digging as to why um, the king of rap, and I call her king because that's what I do, but you can say the queen of rap would retire right now. Because I attune or I attribute, connect her story, her and um, other rappers' story to, um, you know, King Saul and King David. And King Saul, when he was... When he realized that it was his time to transfer leadership from him to someone else, and he realized he couldn't choose the next leader, and that King David was chosen for this position, he didn't take it very well. So he fought King David, and he remained king for, I think, a 10-year period before he, he was killed, or before he lost his battle and was killed, and he, you know, the people, his team died with him. But that was a 10-year period of reign before king david became the next leader so i did not expect king minaj or Nicki minaj to retire so quickly um, as it became clear that her reign was coming close to an end excuse my voice i'm under the weather right now so you know i have to deal with it all right cool so what did i have so far the overall energy of the reading we have the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the Judgment card, and we have the Ten of Swords right under there, signifying endings and new beginnings. So with the Queen of Pentacles and the Judgment combination, the Queen of Pentacles is about, um, you can say fertility, um, look at it, like she's nurturing her coin, but at the same time, it's about fertility, it's about, I take some notes, it's about, um, yeah, security for family and just ready being to be renewed. So with the judgment card in the Queen of Pentacles, it's like renewal. It's like going full circle in life. And it could be connected to her wanting a more stable family life and to have kids and to just ready to enter the next phase of life. So the overall energy of this reading, the overall energy of her decision making in the back of her mind or in the front of her mind was... Entering a new phase of life, going full circle, ending this reign, this period of, because the judgment is also about redemption and judgment is receiving from divine. And of course she received from divine. If you can look, she has millions and millions, like she's on top of her industry. These are people who are chosen for that. So it's like the end of her reign and she noticing this, she's knowing this and she's ready for new beginnings. She's ready to Put her energy into her family. Put her energy into having kids and entering that next phase of life. So that's the overall energy of this reading. And receiving clarity of thought as to what it is she really wants in life. And that's what she wants. She's ready to enter the next phase. So let's start on the first card. We have a justice card. Clarified. We have justice. Clarified by the four of cups. So the justice is like, um, if you look at the justice card, got her crown on, the crown is on, you got the scales, you have the sword, and you have the red robe, and you're sitting down. And then the four of cups is like denying something. So it's like, I got two energies from this justice card. First, I was thinking of injustice, like not being treated fairly or just injustice. But at the same time, I'm also getting balance and I'm also getting reigning, you know, being on top of the game, being in king status, queen status, and um, also fighting for that. But when I'm getting justice, I'm getting retreat as well, like relaxing from the fight, relaxing from you're on the throne, but you're more re in a, a relaxed position. You're not in the fight because you're balanced. And with the Four of Cups, it's like focusing on what's more important. 
So it's like, yes, the throne is important. Yes, being the king of rap is important. The queen of rap is important. But what's more important in my life, again, go back to some of our energy, is family. So it's like, I can, I can, I can choose to fight. Um, for the crown and to remain in my position on the crown because look I'm on all red and red is like material abundance. I'm abundant. I'm on my shit. I'm on top of my industry I could choose to fight for the crown or I can choose balance Fairness and I can choose to balance the entire aspect of my life instead of just sitting here on the crown So with the four of cups, I'm deciding or she decided to focus on what's important and we know what's more important for her at this moment in her life as she goes full circle is her family. But right next to it, we have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Four of Pentacles. And what clarifies, Four of Pentacles is holding on to something. And what clarifies the Four of Pentacles is the Nine of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Interesting energy I'm getting from this. So what do you want to hold on to? It's like King of Pentacles, I think King Pen. And at first, it's a lot of kings. She got the King of Pentacles and King of Wands in her reading. So I'm thinking, a lot of king energy, but I you know, I call female rappers kings too, especially when they're on top of their game. But I'm getting this is her man. This is nine of wands is like fighting for your man. I mean, like fighting for something. This last ditch effort to fight for something that you really want. And I feel like this is her trying to hold on to her man. Honestly, if you look at her social media, she's been posting him a lot too. So we know that she's focusing on him and he's important to her. So it's like now is the time instead of focusing on fighting for the crown and rap, who really you know sometimes people take you in and they they chew you up sometimes the same people who love you are the same people who chew you up so the same thing that loved or rap could be the same thing that you are up so why would you continue to hold on to that versus holding on to someone who really loves you and i feel like the kingpin or the man in her life is one who truly loves her and she's spoken focusing on holding on to that and fighting for that and putting all of her effort into that why he used to make her for family? Then we have the Wheel of Fortune. A change of circumstances. Um, things are changing. Things are going full circle. Sometimes the Wheel of Fortune is just a change in, in life or wanting a change in life, wanting better times, wanting something to manifest that's better than what is right now. And we have this um, strength card in the King of Wands. You know, resolution to problems, remaining strong, remaining, um, I would say humble. I'm not sure if I get humble energy from her, but it's like remaining strong through um, and resolving the problem and resolving, yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting... I don't feel a lot of energy from this, but with the Wheel of Fortune, it's like a change of circumstances or wanting a fortunate change of events could be as it pertains to our relationship, remaining strong and focusing on solving problems, focusing on moving forward and solving problems. Yeah, then we have the moon. And what's interesting about the moon, the moon is uncertainty. Taking it like a leap of faith or a walk through the darkness, you know, um, hoping for something but not seeing the full full thing, the full picture. And I think this is about her barbs because it's the Nine of Cups in the Page of Cups. This is new beginnings, but it's like not being certain on the well-being of her barbs. Because when you are a king and, and you're chosen and you're placed to lead a nation and her nation is the barbs and you retire, you know, you worry about the well-being of your followers, of your nation, of the people who you're leading. So I, I really think um, this is two things. You know, she's blessed, of course, but it's like worried about the well-being of 
the people who follow her. Like, if I retire, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna think? Who are they gonna look up to? Um, and that was, that may have been hard for her. That may have been hard for her to overcome. But it's just like, you know, again, focus, she's still focusing on what's more important. Yeah. It may, yeah. Yes. I'm not getting no other energy from that. I'm getting her, I'm not calling her barbs fish, but it's like, you know, you cast your net and you, you know, your fish or your people, your nation. It's like being uncertain about that. This could also attune to being uncertain about coins, but I'm not getting that from her. I don't think that's that. Then we have the Five of Swords. <sighs> Competing priorities. I'm not getting competition. Again, we know that her brain was coming to an end. And do not argue with me about this. Um, it, it's not me who did this. This is it's a going full circle. This is judgment. This is divine timing. But anyway, this is competition. Five of Swords is competition. But what I'm thinking is competing priorities. Again, the throne, her barbs, remaining the queen, king of wrath, um, her barbs and her following and the people, you know, um, in her life that she was chosen to lead. And then her family, her man and her family. It's like um, choosing to focus on what's more important with competing priorities. So it's like, what do I do? My priorities are competing. My bars are important to me. My man is important to me. The throne is important to me. Times are changing. What do I do? I focus on what's more important and that to me is family. I'm, I'm, I'm deciding to transition into a new phase of life that brings me fulfillment as it pertains to family. Yeah. Look at this. You know, you got the kids, the husband, the wife, the house, and you still got the blessings. The Ten of Cups up here. Look at this. It goes from Nine of Cups with the barbs and the moon and the Page of Cups and the Ten. Turns into Ten. It's like Bring, being even more fulfilled when you focus, when she focuses on what's more important, which is her family. <laughs> Lastly, for this reading, we have the Knight of Swords. And this is a fight. This is fighting. So, again, we did say she was with the Nine of Wands and the King of Pentacles fighting for her man, you know, on this last ditch effort to try and make it work with her man, that's probably what the strength card came in from too. And the problem resolution as times are changing. Um, we also have what we're fighting for. Remember, this is about Knight of Swords. She's fighting. She's on a horse to those that own and rides like anymore. It's like fighting for her family. But the Two of Cups is love and soulmate energy. And the sun is... I'm getting for her son. Maybe she wants a son. Maybe she wants a son. I think this is a baby. Look at that thing. Look at that. That's like a baby on there. So it's like she's deciding to put her energy into her family and fight for her. Fight for love and fight for her son. And she deserves to be happy. She deserves happiness and fulfillment in her life. She deserves, in you know, whatever it is. But regardless of the situation, if the divine has chosen another king to run um, or to take, you know, if it's someone else's time, it's someone else's time. Again, we have a will of fortune. Things are going full circle. Things are changing. But she's not losing anything. She's retiring at the top and she's winning her man and her family. Again, it goes from nine of cups to ten of cups, meaning she's upgrading. She's not losing anything. Even if she may not understand or see the entire full picture, she's not losing anything. She's choosing to focus on what's more important, and that's good for her. She's ending one cycle and beginning another. And the barbs will be okay. The barbs will still follow her, and the barbs will be okay. 
Um, I hope you like this reading. Let me know your thoughts. Like, subscribe, comment, let me know. If you like a reading, I got your back, let me know. Um, and I'm going to put my business at the end of this. Order you a Gym Body TMC hoodie. If you work out in the gym, work out in your Gym Body TMC hoodie and, and tag me on Instagram. I wish you guys love. I wish you guys light. And I wish you more life.